Alright guys, this is what you need to connect your Ducati to your ECU on a bike. You got the ELM327. This is my second one, so I bought one that was like 8 bucks. It didn't work, so I bought the one with this uh, toggle switch here. So, ELM327. And I'll give you guys the links to where I got these, okay? And then, this is your actual one that costs a little money. This is your ODB Ducati. This connects to the scanner here, like that. And this end would connect to your Ducati port. So this I got off eBay from Lithuania. So, but hey, it came through. I got here. And another one I had to buy because my Windows 10 machine doesn't allow for the COM to connect. So I had to get an XP machine. My Windows 10 machine wouldn't work. So I, you need an XP or a Windows 7 to run that software, okay? What's up guys, today we're gonna try to reset our annual service light. Let me show you what that is. So you turn it on, the annual flash is there. I guess every year. And then the service indicator goes there. So we're just gonna try to remove that flasher. Because I don't really got miles on this bike and I don't wanna pay $350 for them to do an oil change which I already got, even though it was only 400 miles ago, but it's over a year, so. Anyways, we're gonna do that by uh, connecting those devices. Uh, this is your old DB port here, okay. All right, guys, so the old DB port is in the rear. Take the cowl seat out. All right, so. And actually, that will unlock it. All right, so we take the seat out. Okay, guys, this is your old DB port here, okay? So there's a little rubber, little tie down there, just Take that off, and then we're gonna just uh, pop this clip off. We're gonna just pull this off. Try to do it one hand here, which I can't. All right, let me pull that off. So the old DB port is right here. It's all right. So the old DB port. So it's right here. There's it's attached, and here it is. All right, we're just gonna take this guy off. Let me press, press up, and pop the cover off. All right, so you see it's yellow, right? So let's just snap back up. Press the clip up. Pop it out. Okay, don't lose this cover. Put in my pocket. All right, so that's your old DB connection. So let me go get those uh, connections. All right, so here's your old DB. Okay, this end goes into the Ducati. All right, four pin. It's kind of angled where you can slide it in like this. And you hear the click, okay? I'll pop that back out. Same way to take it out. Pull up, pull, okay? So there it is, yellow, click. And then the other part of the ODB connection goes in your scanner, okay? It's formed so it only fits one way. There it is, okay? And this USB part, this will go into your laptop, 
or computer whatever you have I heard it works on Surface Pro so I don't know but it doesn't work on my Windows 10 machine so that's why I got the XP so I'm gonna bring that here now all right all right guys so we're gonna hook up the scanner to the software which is free online all right so I already downloaded it now we're just gonna open this guy up oh here it is all right so we're gonna open up uh, the Melco Diag all right that one we're gonna run it okay And then we're gonna do the connection right now, okay? So we had it connected to the bike. Let's enlarge this so you guys can see it. All right. Okay, but once you get it connected, you have to figure out which COM port you're using. So let me check. I'm gonna go into my device manager my computer click my computer properties go into hardware hardware okay and then device manager now you're gonna check your com ports there it is and you're gonna see what com this is plugged this is the reason why I can use my Windows 10 laptop because it's not connecting to a COM. So right there, it says COM9, USB serial COM9, okay? So now we're gonna open up the software. There we go, let's open this guy up. Let me turn this off first. I'm going to connect first. Actually, I'm going to turn it back on now. I'll turn the bike on. And this should light up there. It's lit. So it's connected. Launch the software. Run. All right. Let me enlarge the screen. As you can see, if you can see that it's on COM4 okay and we know we have to go to COM9 alright let's see what COM9 is there we go alright so there's COM9 we're gonna select that gonna hit any Panigale 213 and up Remember, this software is for Panigale and other bikes, so Super Sport's kind of new. All right, connect. So as it's connecting, let me see. There you see the lights flashing, right? So there it is, it's reading the bike's ECU. So let's wait till that stops. All right reading okay so now you open up the open and close the application if the com 9 doesn't show up but now I opened it up there it is com 9 that's where we're connected at select any Panigale 2013 and up alright so now we're gonna connect connect So it's reading now, as you can see, it's reading. And here you are, ECU type and the type of bike. It's gonna come out as Super Sport S939. The VIN number shows up there. Okay. And here, let me show you the, the scanner. It's connected. All right. So now we're connected. We are connected. As you can see, red to Super Sports S. Comes under as a 939. Shows your VIN. And 
and then here on the tabs let's just see what it's reading okay so nothing on there resets so here's your resets service interval decimal reset TPS reset EPS reset reset dash pin yes the pin code map calibration set whatever that is all right active test tab so it's reading all these things but remember I'm just here to reset my annual service light hopefully work on a passive test so you got all these tests here for retail lights abs lights refresh kill switch big switch all right so on the resets i'm just gonna go here service interval hmm doesn't really say annual service but oil service so I might do for the oil service, but let's see if it'll do the service interval, okay? So again, my bike has that service light. And then when you turn it on, I don't want to turn it off because we'll disconnect with the laptop. So right there, it says service, right? But it's not oil service though. I don't know the difference. All right, let's see if that removes it. Let me see. It's a service interval. Okay, I'm gonna press it. Let's see what happens. Oh, it says your bike. Is not supported, is not support. Bike is not supported. Oh man. What else can I do though? All I wanted to do was reset. I did again. The bike is not supported. Woohoo! I'm gonna turn this on and off. Let's see if that light comes back on. I mean, the annual service. Yeah, still there, annual service flashing, service light. Hmm. Well guys, I really don't want to mess with this. All I just want is the light. But at least you know this connection, it will read your 939. So if you want to do it and mess around with it, be my guest. So see, it's reading. All right. So I really don't want to mess with it until I get some clarification. <laughs> and I don't want to spend 350 just for an oil change again. Alright guys, signing off.